Southwest Fresno is one of a kind. The rich fabric was really in the residents that have always lived in Southwest Fresno. The mom and pop stores that really made this amazing mecca for many residents. The sad reality of it is that they've had to find resources when the resources should have already been at their feet. Fresno and California's Central Valley quite literally feeds the nation. 25% of the nation's food supply comes from a 100 mile radius from where I'm sitting right now. The fact that that is true and yet this place experiences the third worst food hardship in the nation is unthinkable. The Southwest uh, Fresno community, I would describe it as being filled with people who have love for their family. We are a people of every shade and nationality and religion. We're a community that has been left behind in a lot of areas due to financial inequities. Not having healthy food has a, a greatly uh, negative impact. When parents aren't able to provide healthy food for their children, it's a domino effect. They're not going to develop in the best way possible. That very basic need is something that needs to be met and we'd like to help do that through the food ministry. The Food to Share Hub here in Southwest Fresno and it is a amazing project that connects two separate entities together for one particular purpose, and that is to do exactly what the name says. We call it the St. Rest Food to Share Hub. It's a partnership between St. Rest Baptist Church and Fresno Metro Ministries Food to Share Program. This catalytic site in Southwest Fresno, which has a warehouse, an old 6,000 square foot warehouse, which we're renovating to be a modern warehousing and food logistics platform. And then we're also gonna be building a 4,000 square foot community commercial kitchen, training areas, classrooms, and service offices for the community. Sharing food within a community that typically and historically has not seen food. We sit in a food desert where we have approximately almost 47 liquor stores and one grocery store in the entire radius of Southwest Fresno, west of the 99. We have currently five cargo vans and we deliver food to 49 partners. This food hub gives us a chance to warehouse to store food overnight. We'll have refrigeration, walk-in refrigerators, walk-in freezing, lots of dry storage. So we can increase our food recovery and redistribution by millions of pounds. The Food Hub really circles around reducing the amount of healthy food that's wasted in our community and really getting that healthy food out into the community for the people that really need it the most. For every pound of food that we divert from the landfill and someone consumes it, we reduce greenhouse gases by 2.2 pounds. This is an environmental solution as well as a health and hunger solution. The new warehouse that's being constructed is going to be a very positive impact on the community. They'll be able to come over and to visit and to take advantage of the programs that we'll be able to offer. With the kind of facilities we're building, the commercial kitchen, the training areas, we can support food entrepreneurs. We're actually practicing a kind of stewardship with food that then bleeds over into social, economic, environmental benefits. I really hope that Fresno can save a lot of other communities a lot of time. We've spent a couple of decades pursuing more traditional economic development, and a lot of good work was done and that really laid a foundation, but it really has been because of the Kresge Foundation and all of our community partners that conversations have changed and our focus, our customer now, we understand is the person, the neighborhood, the community groups that have been left behind, who have been excluded from the way our economy has worked in the past. So we could just shortcut this for everybody else and just tell folks, start with community as the center of your focus. I see this becoming a model for so many different communities that are disenfranchised and communities that are disadvantaged and showing that it really doesn't take a whole lot of business-minded folks with rich investment to come together in order for something to get done. It really starts with individuals that have a mind of change and a plan with a slight bit of hope in order how to get that done. And that's when you have investment.